Hi everyone. In this video we are going to talk about the area of a circle and of course some other concepts related to that. So everybody knows the area of a circle and that's pi r square. Let us consider for simplicity purposes that the radius of this circle is 7 cm. So the area of this circle will be equals to pi times r square that's 7 times 7. Okay. Now what is the value of pi? Well, you can take the value of pi, pi is a universal constant as 3.14 or you can take the value of pi as 22 by 7 and that's standardized. So taking the value of pi as 22 by 7, we get 22 by 7 times 7 times 7. One of the 7's get cancelled out. What we have is 22 times 7. So 22 times 7 is 154 square centimeter is the area of this circle. Moving ahead, we have a question. What is the area of a circle whose circumference is 88 centimeter? Now what is circumference? Well, circumference is the linear distance traveled around a circle or a closed path, right? So we have a formula for circumference. Let me write that for you. So circumference is twice pi r which is again equals to pi d. What is d? d is the diameter. Diameter is basically twice the radius. Now what is the area of a circle? Area of a circle is equals to pi r square. Now to find the area you need the radius and we can get that from this formula of circumference. So circumference is 88 is equals to twice into the value of pi that's 22 by 7 times r is what we have to find. So we have r is equals to 88 into 7 upon 2 into 22. 22 times 4 is 88 and 2 times 2 is 4. So radius is 7 to the 14 centimeter. Now we can calculate the area. We have pi is 22 by 7 times r square that's 14 times 14. 7 times 2 is 14. So you have 44 times 14 as the area and that is 316 centimeter square. Okay, some more formulas related to circles waiting for us. Now before you go ahead and look at these formulas, you should know what is an arc and a sector. So what is an arc? Let me write it for you. A, B, this curve is an arc. And the area enclosed by this arc and the center of the circle, that's A, O, B, is a sector. Now if someone asks you what is the length of an arc, you've got a formula. That's theta by 360 times twice pi r. That is the circumference of the circle. Now what is theta? So theta is the angle of this arc from the center. Okay, And it will be measured in degrees. Now what is the area of a sector? And that's half into the radius into the length of an arc. Something similar to triangles. Half into you know, base into height. So something like that. That's half into radius into the length of the arc. Now that's basically if you put these values here you get theta by 360 times pi r square or in other words it's theta by 360 into the area of the circle. So these are the two formulas that are very important. With this let us put these to test. We have a question. What is the area of the following circle given here? Now you have been given the area of a sector. So let's write the formula for that area of a sector is equals to theta by 360 times pi r square. Now what is pi r square? Pi r square is the area of a circle and that is what we have to find. So let's find out the area of a circle. Let's find out the formula for that. Area of circle will be equal to 360 by theta times the area of sector. 
So what is this theta? Well, this theta is actually this angle. And what will be the value of this? Well, the complete angle is 360. So theta is equal to 360 minus this opposite angle. So 330. And that will be equal to 30 degrees. So we've got the value of theta. So this is equal to 360 by 30 times the area of sector is given 51 1 by 3 and that will be equal to 51 times 3 plus 1 and that is 154 by 3 okay so this 0 gets cancelled out 3 times 12 is 36 and 3 times 4 is 12 so 154 times 4 and that is equal to 616 square meter and that's the area of the circle so this is how you use formulas in calculating the area of circle okay see you in the question sets